we just slapped straight into the front of my car. Oh dear. For the first time in ages, I don't think I could advise buying one of these. I'm not very impressed with it. That's really disappointing actually. Hey guys, and welcome to another video with me, Jay Billy. Today, we're looking at this. This is the Arlalo 114th scale RC buggy. So thank you Arlalo for sending me this in the mail today for review and testing. Let's get into it and have a look at it. In the box. We've got a load of parts here guys. Accessory bag with loads of bits and pieces. We'll take a look at that in just a second. So this is a 2.4 gigahertz system. On the top you've got the dual rate settings and the on off switch. Then it comes to the buggy itself. Now I've not actually had a look at this yet. Got proportional steering, metal aluminium shocks, and then they're adjustable as well. These are oil filled. And you've got metal dog bones going through the center. Foam filled tires. The paint job on this thing looks really nice as well. And you've got a big wing on the back with the R Lalo logo there. Coming around the back, let's have a little look. Oh wow, there's a wheelie bar just here as well. Oh wow, look at the chassis. It's made of carbon fiber. In this video, we will be doing a GPS speed run test to find out how fast this can go on 3S LiPo, so stay tuned for that as well. <laughs> Guys, just look at this road. We're gonna test out the top speed on this thing on 3S, and we're using the GPS speed meter to find out just how fast it goes. <laughs> certainly got some speed. One of the first things I've noticed <laughs> is the range is terrible. I can only go like over to where that bollard is and I've lost range, man. That doesn't seem right to me, but uh, <laughs> there you go. I'm losing control before I can really hit top speed, which is, yeah, not great, guys, not great. Oh, when you can't survive. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that that is, yeah, we're done bashing for one day. I don't think I've got the spares to, to fix that up, so we might have to call it a day on that, guys. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Where's my speedometer gone? I've lost it. So right now, I have no idea how fast that RC car goes. It was quite far down here, wasn't it? Here we are. Here we go. We got it. What's the top speed of the Arlo 114th scale brushless buggy? 46 miles per hour. Well, I'm not saying by any means that an RC car should uh, be able to survive a full on impact with another car's tire, but I did expect it to survive a little bit longer than it did. Now, I can't lie guys, I'm a bit disappointed in this. I mean, look at the damage it sustained. The steering knuckle, the hub carrier, the shock tower snapped. It's just not good enough, it's not strong enough. So inside straight away, you can see the big green can, that's the brushless motor, it's 3200 kV, and the ESC that's paired with this is 45 amps, which is just here in the center. That can actually take two to three S LiPos, and we're gonna be running three S in this video. I'll send you a link, guys, in the description box for where you can pick up the batteries to fit in that tray absolutely perfectly. Here's the two cell LiPo that comes with it, it's 2800 milliamps, and it's a 7.4 volt two cell. USB charge with it. Oh, that's fantastic. They give you spare arms as well, guys. So if you break an arm whilst you're doing 50 miles an hour, you've got some spares. So these are the batteries that I'm gonna be running in this particular model. They're a little bit lower capacity than the standard battery that it comes with, but they've got a high punch discharge rate, and they should be good for about 10, 15 minutes of runtime. A lot of travel there. Wow, that's responsive. I think it's safe to say this little buggy absolutely rips. Guys, look in the description box for the batteries and for this truck. I guess it was my own stupidity though for driving it straight into my car's tire, but these accidents happen, right? I don't even know if I can get the spare parts for this thing. And guys, look, I even had a ramp ready. I had a ramp for you guys to jump this thing off for some slow motion shots. I was gonna take us on some gravel, and now I just can't do anything, so pff, I'm gonna go home and cry. I will try and fix this truck up and I will try and run it again to give it a fair try. But for now, thanks for watching guys. And thank you so much, Arlalo, for sending me the truck for testing, even if I did break it straight away. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.